when that happens, the air conditioning units are still running on the train, right? So that they are still outputting uh, hot air from the uh, recirculation um, exhaust vents. And so we have to consider, was there sufficient tunnel airflow in order for us to, to say that, that there wouldn't be too much recirculation of hot air coming out from the condensing units, going back into the air conditioning inlets and, and causing problems with, with performance. But the vents themselves, they, they were actually quite detailed cab. They, they had a number of louvers and so it was considered that this case where we were modeling one tunnel with, with eight cars, it was going to be very expensive to, to model those explicitly. We worked out the uh, flow direction for, for each of those, so that's the straightened flow that would be passing through those louvers. We were able to put in direction uh, controls as boundary conditions there, and that enabled us to specify the inlets. So then we were able to, to consider temperature effects. Would we have 50 degree air going back in to the air conditioning units? Uh, there was a significant amount of that back in the concern. I use it as a go-to for would be for cases like this where perhaps you have specific lighting you want to do some special tools uh, like moving along the screen line having a camera follow you can enable rigid body motion which is a way of uh, rotating parts which are truly static you know, that can definitely help when you're, you're providing uh, CFD um, as, as a visual aid to people who don't understand it all that well uh, and I'd say another large reason people will use Ensight is because of, of its case handling capabilities. So it can handle very large mesh sizes, uh, typically hundreds of millions of cells and no problem.